Hey there everyone, how's it going? I'm Tarun and in this video we're going to continue on with our Python regular expression series and in particular we're going to talk about the compile function which is going to come in handy when you're going to use the same pattern uh, for a many number of times. So what does the compile function do? As I said, compile uh, is like you can compile a regular expression pattern into a regular expression object, okay, which can be used for matching using the match and the search methods any number of times. Okay, you need not uh, do the same thing again and again. Uh, like uh, once I type the program, you'll get it, get to know about it. For example, again, we need to import re and let's just say uh, comp because you could call it anything re.compile but you must call this as re.compile itself and we want to enter the pattern in here for example if you would want to match j j a v a java okay there's the pattern and then if you would want to use it in say a match function okay how would you do that you would use reobj again you could call it anything but you must call this as okay again it's not re dot match blah 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 that would be the old way of doing it now you would use comp that is this object which is returned by the compile comp dot match and you would enter the string in which you want to match this okay the string so let's have the string here first, string string, and you would like to match. What shall we match? We shall match Java script. Um, why is it duplicating? I didn't ask it to do. Sorry. So yeah, we would match Java script, and again it would return an object. Let me just quickly type in if hurry obj print pattern found else print pattern not found and once I hit save and let's just uh, run this program you need a colon here save and run the program you get pattern found so it has found the java in there so that is how this compile works the compile actually it compiles into comp and this java is available here again if you would like to wait well, let's just print something here real quick and if you would want to use it again in a search function you could easily do it you could call reobj Okay, obj equals to oh, what is it re dot search okay and you need not give a pattern here okay sorry you need to give a pattern if you use re if you use comp okay you need not give a pattern you can directly mention the string itself let's call it string one and mention the string one equals to say yo javascript okay string one uh, search it in string one yep and then again do the same thing here again control c control v call it re2 obj save it and let's again run it you see pattern not found that is because we are searching for j a v a and here is j a a v a so pattern not found so yeah that is how this c o m p works the compile hope you got at least the gist of it otherwise you, if you're comfortable with using the older version which we learned in the previous video you're free to go use it there's not much difference in the beginning stages um, as you've seen so that is all for this video thank you so much see you guys in the next video